What's up, Dragon Brood? Be sure to check out that shirt and the merch link if you haven't yet. But do y'all remember when we were earlier in the season, all those like whatever, almost five months ago, where there was so much like treasure, 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 and then, you know, we kind of quit building treasure decks for whatever reason. I don't think we ever did a mono red one. So I started looking and decided, why don't we play a mono red treasure deck today and see if we can make it do anything? Because sounds like fun and we hadn't done it. So that's what we're doing today. It's mono red aggro with the treasure slam. Red as always, if you wanna help me out, be sure and hit that join button down below, get you some exclusive content, get to have input here and get your stuff featured here on the channel. But also don't forget, if you're gonna get supplies and you need to protect your cards and paper, check out shop.ultrapro.com slash power dragon, use promo code power dragon, you'll save 5% and they'll give me a little kickback here. All right, so the toughest thing I think we're gonna have is you do know that we're gonna be dealing with like meat hooks or whatever. So we need to be able to do a lot of damage still have some cards that can do damage upstairs, and then obviously have some finishers. So we're gonna have to have a few different things here, and I think we got it all covered. But we got three gold hound. This is good just cause it's extra treasure. I think people forget that this is a treasure dog, so we can use this a few different ways. We have Commando Faces Kakazan. Obviously you see this in all the aggro decks, not a surprise here. Four play with fire, and this is mostly so we can have some amount of damage that goes up top. I debated over what other spells we want to play. There's a bunch of, like, deal two or deal three, one mana spells. But I wanted something that could actually still hit the opponent. And so I had to have at least one spell in here to do that. So I decided to go with play with fire. I'm playing three voltage surge, because, again, we have so much treasure. Why not? Three bloodthirsty adversary. And honestly, this could potentially need to be four, so we have an extra mana sink. Something I would consider. But for now, we're going to try out three... We don't have, if we had more spells that I think went to the opponent's head, I think I would want another one. But right now we just have the play with fire. But it can just be a big body later in the game. We have four dragons fire because it's instant speed and we do have some dragons. Three riveteers requisitioner. This is another one to try out because if it dies, it creates treasure. It has blitz, which also lets it die to create treasure, but gets us a card, right? So that kind of works to our advantage. I don't know how often we're going to want it to be a haster with Blitz late in the game, but it's going to be a non-zero number, I'm sure. So we'll see how much we like that. Because there are other things. Like I said, could this be another adversary? Could this be who knows what, right? We have to think about what other cards that might make sense being. Then we have four Fable of the Mirror Breaker, because of course we do. The card's doing everything we like in this deck. Even the discard and draw can help us smooth out our mana. It can help us find our dragons, do all that good stuff for us. Then we have three professional face breakers, because if we're going to have all the treasure, this can dig us deeper and help us find more answers. So we like that too. We have two at Sushi, the Blazing Sky, because actually both parts of this are good. So I don't mind either one. And it does trample as a flyer, which is pretty sweet. And then we have Goldspan Dragons, because of course, flying haste, create treasures. But we need some mana sinks for all of that treasure. So we're starting at two Shatter Skull Smashings, just because... We have three Den of the Bugbear, 15 Mountains, one Sakenzen, two Crawling Barons, and one Field of Ruin. So between the Crawling Barons, the Shatter Skull Smashing, and the Den of the Bugbear, we should have plenty of ways to spin the treasure. But I don't know if maybe we need another outlet. Maybe we want to have some other ways to get stuff. Who knows? Uh, there's a lot of things we can talk about. And obviously by the end of the video, we'll discuss do we want to make any changes or not. But in the meantime, y'all go watch some games. And I'll catch you on the other side with that update. Right, let's keep this. We can shoot some things or an opponent if we have to. We can play River Tears Requisitioner, which we like. Uh, I'm gonna go. Ahead, I am gonna go ahead and shoot the opponent here. Eh, eh. We need some land, really. That's not gonna do us any good on its own. We'll go ahead and play this. Because we can actually attack for three, because we should be able to remove whatever we put in the way. If it's something small, maybe we could kill it with... Ah, I was hoping we could adversary and, and shoot that. But, um... Now we just have to decide if I want to use this. I think, though, I do want to do this. Mostly because if we do get a land... Now, admittedly, if they play a troll, it's not going to matter a whole lot. But I was thinking if we get a land... Okay, that's mostly fine, I suppose. There's a good chance they'll be able to protect that. 
So now it's a question of what do we do here? Is it better to play a fable or should we be going in on the adversary? You know what? I think we do this. And then we attack because there's a chance they may try to protect their creature here to keep it alive. I don't know. And then we just shoot it with the uh, play with fire instead. And I'm kind of into that. Come on, opponent. Do it. Do it. I know you want to. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. All right. That does help a little bit. Oh, they've got red mana. Oh, okay. I see what we're doing. I wouldn't have assumed just right off the bat this is werewolves. Uh, okay. Now we have other real questions. If we play the Facebreaker and attack... The opponent could try to save an adversary. I mean, uh, we attack now. I don't necessarily want to waste stuff. I guess we just go with this. I'm not that into it, but, you know, we generate some treasure. So why not? They can save this one because we're not going to do much about it. Yeah, no surprise there. We saw that one coming. This was more about setting up next turn. Or even being able to dig a little deeper for something, possibly. Alright, another naturalist. They will be able to produce another treasure, or uh, mana here. Oh, triple naturalist. That's a thing. Okay. Well, they can attack and... Oh, they're not even gonna attack. Interesting. Hmm. So what are we looking to do here? Opponent's at nine. Wow, how do we size this up? I guess we, I mean, we could wait to play that till after combat. All right, so let's say we attack with both. I mean, do they double block to try to kill the face breaker? Try to, I mean, yeah, I guess. All right, I mean, this feels like it should be fine. All right, uh, sure. This kind of works out the same way we expected either way, so it's all good. And then we get to kill all their stuff. We end up with an extra treasure. We'll go ahead and play this, so we have the only creatures on board. Opponent's at nine, and we can dig if we need to to try to find a creature. Ah, that's a little unfortunate, but that's okay, I guess. I mean, kill it or don't. You either let us see two cards, potentially. I assume you save it to block and then kill it, though. I mean, us getting to see possibly an extra card I don't think is that big a deal for the opponent. But to each their own. Maybe they think it is that big a deal. I mean, they're only at nine, so I would think you'd want to... Do Okay. Mm, we will not be discarding this. Submitting zero. But I will dig. Just to see what we can find here. Oh. Nah, we're not going to lose a creature here. So we're just attacking. Like, they're going to block and kill our fable. That's fine. Like, they can do... Oh, they're not even? What? What? Really? I feel like something's up. Why would they not? I mean... Okay. Sure. Oh, I forgot. I guess I should have used that. We were going to lose it. I forgot. That was part of the face breaker thing. But it didn't matter. Okay, yeah, we keep this. We absolutely keep this. So we get some first striking menacing gold hounds. Pretty sweet. Uh, this is great for a start. Gonna get in there. Then next turn we could add sushi if they don't do anything significant. Or we could do this and shoot something. 
Uh, we won't be shooting that. <laughs> so at sushi it is. Or so it looks. So it appears. Um, hmm. All right, let's see if they want to block that first. Probably not. All right, we'll go for it. If they want to fight our Atsushi, then so be it. We'll get cards to cast or something, so it's okay. Ah, black mana. And a field trip. Okay. That still looks pretty good for us here. I ain't mad at this so far. And they're going to conjure. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Yeah, I don't even have anything in the yard to use, so yeah, let's do this. Okay, we let all that happen. We'll pick off this guy. We'll go ahead and play that so we can attack with it next turn. All right, they do get to gain some life. They go to 12. Currently, we can do 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, but doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I think we still keep this. We're going to be going with Kamano into Dragon's Fire, barring us not finding something off the top, obviously. They give us a couple turns, maybe, to find something with Fable. But depending on what the opponent does, maybe we just turn to Adversary and attack for three as well. So, I mean, that's that's a real situation. So, lots of things. We did get a land right off the top, so that's good news. Now, if they're playing red or red-white, this is going to get a little bit dicey. Okay, they're playing blue. That's kind of good, all things considered. This also comes in as a three, which means they likely don't have an answer for it right off the bat. So we're going to get our three damage in there. Alright. Not a bad start. Don't know what deck we're really up against here. Unless it's like a Mel deck, potentially. Uh, if so, that's kind of bad for us. Okay, that's not a Mel card. <laughs> I was going to say, kind of bad in the sense that we have tons of cheap spells. Which would not have benefited us. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this duder. And we'll get in there for five. Putting the opponent down to a whopping 11. Now the good news is we already have the five land. So if something happens on the next turn, we would be able to attack with Den of the Bugbear. And the opponent should hopefully be pretty low. So we might play Fable just because. And then try to get the adversary even post answer whatever answer is uh that's neat but i think we have to wait which i'm assuming something dies here i mean if not this is awesome but i can't imagine that's a thing oh all they had was voltage surge Alright, if they discarded one of them, I assume they have another. So... Adversary's gonna get in there? No, a fading hope for the adversary. Well, see, now this is kind of interesting, because do we play the Fable here? If we think they have some type of other counter. I think we just play this. Ooh, they didn't have the counter. As fast as that went, there's no way they had the counter there. Oh, that's sick. All right. Well, the good news is we still can shoot something down with the uh, Dragon's Fire. So it's not the worst thing. And there is a chance they play something like Goldspan Dragon on this turn or whatever. That could be tough. Ooh, they, they thought about doing something there and they backed off. I don't know what that means. But they backed off of something. I'm just passing. They did really nothing there. All right. Well, let's try to shoot this. I'm assuming a counter incoming. 
It's not going to be a Gerarius Disruption, because he would have just played that there, right? Alright, Spell Pierce. That doesn't mean they don't have another, so... We do have to play this a little bit carefully. How about this? Alright, and I guess we will pay the iron price. I mean, because we're going to get it either way once the creature's in play. I mean, kill it or not, doesn't change anything on our end. Uh, still going to pay for it. So we can off that. Get in for two. All right. Iteration. Going to go dig in for something. I really do want to attack with this Den of the Bugbear, but I'm trying to get the opponent's resources. Even down to one card, I'd feel a little bit better. But until then, I think we might just play Fable and Goldhound next turn. Oh. And they might give us a little bit of a runway here. They are in desperation mode. All right. We can dig it. That's six damage. Uh, I'll play this for sport. I don't know what they're going to do here, but even if they play a sweeper... Actually, there... Well, no. There, there's a couple things they could have here still, actually. And be alive. Well, burn down the house was not one of them. Now they just die to this. Or this, actually. Okay, opponent goes first. Let's keep this. Um... I think we're going to roll with this. I was debating leading with Goldhound and then giving us the option of playing like Play With Fire, Commando, and then set this up on the following turn, but I figured this is as good as anything, all things considered. Uh, let us discard. Man, I actually really kind of want to keep a Goldhound. It's a little disappointing. But I don't know what we're up against yet. So, for now, I think it's going to be at Sushi Goes Away. And that hurts me a little bit, not going to lie. It is not my favorite situation, but it is what it is. Are they going to jump block? I would not be upset with that. Okay. So if we don't find anything else... Who knows? This is probably a discard two spell. No, it's a wedding announcement. Okay. Fair. That could matter. Looking at my hand, it probably won't. But it could have. Uh, we're just going to hop right in and attack here. Opponent says we ain't blocking nothing. That is a bold move. Okay, then. Let's end the turn. I mean, we've got four already? Well, not anymore. We're going to have to use some to kill a uh, Luminarch Aspirant. All right. This comes into play tapped, unfortunately. Hmm. We obviously are going to want to kill an Aspirant at some stage here, but I say we just go ahead and attack. Wow, really? Okay. I mean, I'm assuming they're just trying to meat hook here or something. Is there out? No, it wasn't even a meat hook. Huh. Okay. Um, opponent's at eight. They got a three, three, uh, yeah. 
I mean, this feels a bit silly, but that, yeah. I don't really want to crack that, so sure. You got something, you got something. All right, opponent's at four. There is a Loth, which is annoying. My children drench. I will get what I want. But, hear me out. We can kill one of those. We can attack into Loth. And we're still playing magic, right? Oh, I should have. Well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. I will call the weak. Yeah, I, that was a little silly. I guess I didn't have a way around that. I would have had to attack both into Loth at the same time, and then yeah, there was no good way for. I would have had to give up the adversary there. Wouldn't have been great. Though now if they draw cards with Loth... Okay, they're going to draw. All right, they're going to three. That's real. Oh, they had another one. Damn. Okay, that's a real problem now. But, oh, that ain't too bad now, is it? Man, I would have really liked for one of these to uh, have been a land. So I could have attacked with that gold hound as part of this package. But uh, no luck. Lack of predation. All right, I do lose that. So I have to find a creature here. Or just find a uh, play with fire. That's the other choice. <laughs> Like, just to play with fire. That's it, right? That's all we gotta do. Pass. Or now, it's find a land. Because that gives us one, two, three, four, five. Actually, I guess not, because I'll have enough blockers here. Matter of fact, they could play both their creatures. So, yeah, we gotta find a burn spell to go up top here, unfortunately. Yeah, alright. No blocks. I mean, they're going to obviously play that, right? Yeah, there's no reason not to. Okay. Take our turn. Oh, that's so close, but so far away. Dang it. Needed a land. That is not going to do it for us. Uh, we just got stuck for too long. GG's. Finally, finally got a loss. All right, this seems decent. Let's see what we can do with this. We're going to keep it for sure. Playing against Mr. Jack. I think I've run into Mr. Jack a couple of times. In the past. Alright, Commando faces Kakazan it is. As much as it's nice to go with the adversary when we can here, I think I might actually want to go with this, because if it dies, we get a treasure that opens up a few options, which would be pretty nice. But the opponent now has done that, which leaves a few other things open. So now I've got questions. All right, I say we still do it. Especially since we have burn spells, we might be able to get back eventually. And who knows what's going to come off the top of the library. This requisitioner's not dead yet. Okay. It's good to know. Go to attack. I feel like this will tell us a lot on if they have a meat hook or not. So I feel like if they did, they would just take six here. All right. So they're playing some type of reanimator thing. It's probably safe to assume here. 
All right, end the turn. We have a handful of burn spells, which are probably pretty bad in this fight, except for the times that if we can generate enough treasure, we might be able to kill one of their big creatures. So maybe it matters. The problem here, though, is that we're likely going to have to use that treasure to play this bloodthirsty adversary. But it feels like it makes the most sense, so we're going to do it anyway. And pray they don't have a meat hook. Uh, ooh, yeah, we do want that, actually. <laughs> to be able to attack with our den of the bugbear. All right. Okay, that's some good news for us. That they're having to put stuff in the graveyard. They didn't get their reanimator spell there yet. One of those things is a titan, unfortunately. So the gain life is going to be a real problem for us. If they have it. And or the land for that. Because they're basically going to negate the bulk of this attack step. Going to two. Assuming they get titan back here. They're at 7. We can kill a 4-4. Four, four. And then we can't do much after that. So they're going to meat hook for 2 and now they're dead. Alright. That works for me. Yeah, I guess we'll keep this. I mean, as well as ends, I feel like it sort of does stuff. But not at any real aggressive pace, if that makes sense. But this will have to work. I think it's blue-black, too, is going to make this a bit tough. All right, that helps. Let's go ahead and try to sneak this down. All right, get in there for three. I mean, we could survive. We can get another three in before a meat hook hits. So that's pretty good. Maybe we get a face breaker? No, no such luck. Would have been nice. Would have been nice. Uh, what do we do here? guess it doesn't change much. Alright. Just attacking. Nothing? Alright. I'll assume a meat hook for two is coming, and then if it doesn't, we'll see what happens. Oh, I guess there's not going to be a meat hook here. Alright. Let's see what they do. It may or may not be worth it for us to try a gold span here. Looks like it may not be worth it for us. <laughs> Ooh, but we will we will play that. Faux show. That is a faux show you right on. Oh, and we get the extra treasure. All right. All right. Excellent. So now we can definitely get a gold span off. Though they might be trying to play a gold span here as well. Which actually works in our favor, because we could kill theirs. They would have treasure left over, but then... Oh, they're just going to big score here. All right. So what does that look like on this turn? Huh. Well, if we play this as a land, that's five. I mean, I guess we could crack the gold hound if... It, oh, we ain't even got to crack a gold hound, y'all. It's own. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. All right, then. Um. Yeah, we're just getting the turn. The reason being is if everything's about to die, we could just pump into the Crawling Barons really big here. Like pump it twice and then just attack with it. And that would be enough to kill the opponent on, on the next turn. Uh, Does that card even matter? Not really. I mean, sure. Yep. 
sure. Yep, that's game. That little duder is not going to do nearly enough. Oh, and there's some bonus damage just because. Take that action. We will attack. Yep. There you go. Yep, we are keeping. We are just going to be going for it right out of the gates here. Coming in with the 3-3 adversary right off the top. Yep, you can have a shambling gas. That's all you. Yep. Block or don't block. Matters not. Okay, they must be trying to sacrifice it for something. Oh, they're like, nope, we got answers for that. No, well, they're not wrong. Question is, do I want to go? Yes, yeah, we do, actually. We want to attack. Because if they were to block, it would have just died anyway. And we wouldn't have lost anything because it gets exiled. All right. Trying to keep the pressure going here. Uh... All right. We're just going to sacrifice it, I guess. Yeah. I was like, if they were planning to get the treasure to try to meat hook there, we block so it gets exiled. But, like, otherwise, they're just kind of like, okay, I guess they're going to do what they're going to do. All right. What's the play here, opponent? I think we want to draw a land to just run out a gold span dragon here. Uh, actually, they just got rid of their treasure. Scratch that whole plan. I think I want to just get rid of one of these. Okay. It's trying to increase the odds that we would have found land. But, let's see. If we kill that, yeah... Let's do it. Because I want to... Actually, cancel. We don't need to reveal a dragon. We'll just deal the three. We'll have to discard a card, but I think we just get rid of Voltage Surge here. And the reason we did because I we're going to need the treasure to be able to try to cast Goldspan Dragon next turn. If things don't go our way. And we get a chance to... Ooh, there's a Soren. Hmm. Thought I knew what I wanted to do here. But I think we want to make sure we kill a Soren. That's more important. Alright, well, that's a thing, I suppose. <laughs> Sometimes the deck just gives you stuff. You just gotta take advantage of it. All right. Well, once again, we have enough mana for Goldspan Dragon. Invoke Despair. Well, isn't that something? Sack. Sack. And then we just attack and win. All right. That's a solid one. We'll take it. You know what? Normally I say you never keep a one-lander, but if we were on the play, I might have actually tried this one. But we're going to go ahead and mulligan. Alright, keep this one, get rid of a gold span dragon. See if this is enough to get us where we need to go. They have a Kamano faces Kakazan. This is probably bad for us. Especially since we don't have any real threats coming. <laughs> And we're not even guaranteed to play our turn three thing, so this is a little, little bit tough. Just a just a wee bit tough. Oh, they're just going damage to the face here. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's shoot them. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, hmm. I don't... Oh, gosh, you know what? I think we just pass. I think we know we can kill the 2-2 two -two here. 
There's no point running out of bloodthirsty adversary that's likely just gonna die to like a play with fire. Oh, and a Chandra. Oof. Okay. Well, not great, but hey, at least we can kind of sort of deal with a Chandra. That's a little bit slower for us. You know what's great at dispelling darkness? A blazing inferno. Yep, we're gonna take one. Not a surprise. Let's bring things up to a simmer. And we're gonna really, really, really hope they don't have something good. Cause man, even like a Raiju or something are just like is pretty much soul crushing for us right now. Or a goal span's pretty bad too. Okay, they're actually going to the top, so that's rough, but not the end of the world. Alright. Cool. We're not blocking if they attack. We're just going to go to 12. Okay, and Sushi is actually really good here. We don't mind that. Um, What do we have in the yard? Play with fires, huh? Whew. Do we just not discard anything? Submit zero. That's a little tough, but I think accurate. All right, let's attack into Chandra because we're not winning this fight otherwise. <laughs> and I think we go with this. Place. So we can block, and if something happens, we can just take the treasure, which gives us the option of setting up both Goldspan and Bloodthirsty Adversary. Oh, now that's just mean. Yep. Good news is that's only three, so we do get to trade with that at least. Aww, you're looking a little oh, they're or they could just shoot at sushi, so they get the first strike damage in, which is probably what's about to happen. But what are we gonna do? Oh no, it's not actually. Okay, that actually is great. That is great. We will take all the treasure tokens. This was fantastic. This was j truly. If I could say best case scenario, this is probably it. Play Gold Span Dragon. Uh, cast this. With Kicker. We will play this. Uh, what is she on? Uh, she's on four. We'll kill that. We're going to send this to make sure she dies. These two go at the opponent. Generating piles of treasure. And then we don't do anything here, I don't think. Whew, the way this started, this was looking rough. Now we, now we might be back into something. We're only at 11, though. So, yeah. But we do get to copy a gold span dragon if they don't kill our reflections, which is huge. Which basically ends the game, because that's 8, 9, 10, 11, plus we activate a Crawling Barons. So, yeah. Yeah, we're not even worried about that. And a Chandra, sure. Listen, pal, I'm with the gate watch, so you oh, actually, we're only going to do 12, huh? That's actually not enough. Hmm. Yeah, because that would be four, and then we activate that. We attack. Huh. Oh, their hand's empty, though. So we can copy first. So that gives us eight, nine, ten. Actually, yeah, I think we should still be able to do this. Mostly because we'll get the extra treasure, so it doesn't really matter. And then we just can pump while it's already a creature. All right. And then we're going to attack all at the opponent. Yep. And then we'll just pump this. And then we'll pump this. And we definitely have more than enough now. There you go. Whew. That was a good comeback. 
Okay, let's keep it. This is not flashy by any stretch, but we are going to make the most out of it that we can here. Let's go ahead and go with this. Uh, mostly because getting the treasure doesn't do enough next turn with what's in our hand. Oh, Kalane. Okay. Sure, sure. Uh, now, see, now, this is a little more interesting in the sense that we could play Riveteer's Requisitioner and Commando Face Coxon here and then maybe try to do stuff with the Facebreaker next turn. But I feel like if we do this, the opponent's just incentivized to do something with the Facebreaker or to block now. And then maybe they try to deal with the Facebreaker next turn or something. I don't know. And hopefully we find some burn damage to deal with whatever it is they find here, or else it's going to be very annoying. Okay, if they're just casting that, that's not the worst thing in the world, actually. We could, we could live with that. That, however, is highly annoying. Because it has trample. Yeah, we ain't blocking either way, opponent, so bring the heat. <laughs> like, like, if you thought we are blocking, use wrong. Let me tell you. Alright. I think we just attack. I don't think we're really worried. I mean, we get to kill Kalein. Oh, they're not going to even block with the other one. Alright, cool. We're down with that. Not what I thought they were going to do at all, but sure. I'm game. All right. Somehow I feel like we stole the advantage on this one a little bit. Still could use a quality burn spell, though. I'm not going to lie. That would make life feel a lot better. All right. They decided it's worth it now. So we're going to go to 15. They have a kill spell for our face breaker. No, they're going ham on Obnixilis. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not afraid of any. Sure, make a 1-1. One -one. Yeah, uh, decline. Go ahead. Plead for mercy. Oh, we don't have any burn spells in the yard. Wow. How? How, Sway? Oh, gosh. Okay. Opponent has a blocker. Ooh, boy. How do we want to go about this? We can activate. We can pump. Oh, boy. This is not cool. All right. I guess it's got to be zero. Can we do this? I was thinking we might give this haste. And then attack with this with haste. And then we'd have three things going at this one. And we'd have this going at this one. I think that's what we want to do. But boy, I don't love this. Alright, I think we do though. And then we decline. We go ahead and give this haste. We'll get another card out of this, so it's not the worst thing. No, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's go to attack steps first. Let's attack here and send these three over here. I think that's how we want to do it. So one of the Obnixili, Obnixiluses, Obnixilus, I don't know, whatever the plural is, one of them will die. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. We can live with that. No one beats me and survives. Okay. Not really sure what the opponent's plan was there with that block. I guess maybe they hoped we would kill the one one. So we'd get to deal another point, but... 
pleasure doing business with that didn't seem like the best plan okay you've got a gold span dragon we are no only at 11 now so this this is real this becomes a real problem because another gold span will get us dead oh that doesn't help at all Opponent's at 19. We definitely can't finish them off here. So let's go digging a little bit, see what we could find. Okay, that's kind of helpful. I was hoping maybe an Atsushi or a Goldspan or something would be even better. Thinking, thinking, thinking. We obviously can just kill Obnixilis outright. We can attack and get more treasure. But is that enough? All right, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, not worth the effort. We'll see if we find something here. All right, that's something. <laughs> I don't know how good that something is, but it is something. Uh, let's go ahead and do this as well, because we just need to know. We still can play a land here. Ooh. Damn, I used up too much treasure on trying to find that, though. Wow. That had potential. Had serious potential, but you can only do three. What's the most we could get in here? I guess we do what we can do, but it's a, it's a rough go. It's a rough go. Only being at seven. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Yep. No, they're not even blocking? I mean, the etching is going to keep them from doing any extra damage to us, so that's fine. All right. All right, so we're going to search with one of them. We're hoping to find a dragon. That's really what we're doing here. Oh, that's not going to cut it. I think we're dead. Or close to it. We have three blockers, so I'm not worried about that. But they're all on the ground. Now, the interesting thing here is... If the opponent were to... Okay, they didn't have another dragon, so that's possibly good. But they do have a blocker, and they have a bunch of cards in hand, and we know that can produce two blockers, so... Yeah. Alright. Actually, no, even a uh, Voltage Surge would be kind of nice here. Oh, is it another Obnixilis? If so, that's pretty rough, too, because we have to discard. We don't get a choice. Oh, Emmerstorm Predator. That's pretty solid, too, though. That's pretty solid. That'll still get us dead. Yeah, Sham the Gas doesn't matter too much, but... Yeah, now even one answer isn't enough. We would need a dragon plus something. Wow, and that's just not going to do it for us. That is unfortunate. Oh, man. How sick. Yeah, we really got nothing here. I mean, the best we could do is... All right, let's think about this. Opponent's at 13. We could... Play the Requisitioner, but that's only three. Then we attack. Actually, we copy the Requisitioner. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, don't think we have enough outs, unfortunately. I think this is kind of all we can do, though. And then we just copy this dude? Play a land? 
in case the right cards come up during combat. <laughs> like, I don't know really what we'd even do here, but uh, sure. We're going to go on the hunt. I mean, they can chump block, obviously. Nothing we can do about it. We're dead a few different ways. I mean, might as well block the fours and the three. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you? Yep, that all sounds good. Uh, yeah. Sure. I mean, we've really got nothing here. I'm not even sure. Like, the only thing... No, because we're at three. Like, yeah, we really have nothing. In the turn... Yeah, we got nothing. GG's. All right, we will keep this. Get in there with the gold down early. Let's see what else goes down here. Nothing, we like that. We like nothing. Nothing is safe, nothing is comfortable. Actually, everything is comfortable when it's nothing. All right, this is pretty sweet because we get to play this. And we're going to get two treasure because we got a first strike damage and regular damage. So you're talking about having all the advantages here. Yeah, root coral creeper. Probably not enough opponent. We're going to go ahead and kill a creeper. We're going to go with just playing that straight up. Playing that. Get it in there for some damage. And then we're going to go ahead and use four to play this guy. Woo, check that out. Turn four is gross. Opponent base has zero outs here, being at eight. I mean, I say zero. You could bounce at sushi and yeah. All right, chariot. A semblance of something. I mean, we're probably just going to dig for a uh, burn spell. Or just draw that. That works too. Uh, we're just going to do this for, yeah. All right. Didn't even have to worry about it. All right, so that actually worked out pretty well, honestly. And we won a hell of a lot of games in a pretty short amount of time, so I like that. Now, we did lose a couple, but it actually wasn't a big deal because our games go so fast, even the ones we lost, we just, like, fired right another one right back up and then won another three or four. So that seems really cool. This seems like this could be where you want to be, especially if you're running into a lot of, like, mono black aggro or mono black control. This actually plays pretty well against that. Now... I think I'm still a little bit iffy on the Requisitioner, mostly because against things like Mono Black, it is a little bit of a, I don't know if I want to call it a liability, just because of the one toughness, especially when there's, you're in the world of things like Shambling Gas, so that's a little bit of an issue, but we could actually change that to being too, uh, I don't know, maybe we can end up going and play another adversary, I think is probably where you want to be on that, and then we could play like two Magda possibly and then we have a way to go get dragons with all that extra treasure so maybe we consider that and then i would also go ahead and cut like one of the dragon's fires possibly two to be able to play a couple of royal eruptions then we have more cards to take advantage of those uh adversaries that we'll be adding so i may be doing something in that space i'm gonna be moving a couple of cards around in the final list but overall this was actually kind of nice now for today's card spotlight we're gonna talk about jackal pop and yeah, this is one of those that's like, how the mighty have fallen, pour one out for your homies, you know, that whole thing. Because truthfully, before Jackal Pup, we really didn't get like many two ones for one, right? Before that, there was like 
Savannah Lions, who was basically a rare and at two one for one for in white. But like once we started seeing the Jagapup, we saw the power of it alongside a bunch of other aggressive cards and burn spells. That became kind of the new standard where we started getting like two ones and two twos for one mana. It's kind of rare still, but yeah, I as much as Savannah Lion was the OG. I think it was Jackalpup that really put that design on the map and got people to care. Just a damn shame the card's just so outclassed we just never play it anymore. And if you like really fast decks, I have another recent one that was a black white deck that I'll go ahead and link here that you'll probably enjoy that too because it has some sweet equipment stuff going on. But that's all I have for you for now. We'll see you next time.